how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, fix drops, crash, and stutter in Lost Records, Bloom and Rage dropped recently. I hope this guy helps here. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video without wasting any more time. Let's get started right with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings. And for that, search for settings on your PC. Once you open it up, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar actually runs an overlay service on top of your game, which consumes the CPU and RAM usage. And disabling game bar will help you to fix and save all of those unwanted resources on your PC. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to improve your PC's performance by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your FPS. Right after that, click on graphics and then you're gonna have to change default graphics settings over here. Enable hardware access to GPU scheduling that is HAGS and optimizations for windowed games as both of these settings will help you to utilize your graphic card to enter the game and reduce your input and render latency. After that, go back to graphics and once you are here, click on the browse button and then go over to the download location of your your game. Once you find it, double click to open up your folder, head over to uni, binaries, win64 and you'll find in bloomandrange.exe. Click on add and this application will be added into your list. Head over to options, select high performance so that it uses your graphic card, then click on save and once that is done, you can close your settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is the compatibility settings and for that you have to open up Steam on your PC, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Then head over to uni, binaries, win64 and you'll find in bloom and rage. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then head over to compatibility. Then click on disable full screen optimization and then change high dpi settings. Select override high dpi scaling behavior and click on ok. If you guys are getting any kind of black screen issues, check on run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 then click on apply next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your pc and once you are here search your local disk c and then click on create name it something that you can remember it from i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the lost records fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can download it from there or my discord server once you're over here you'll find in five simple folders let's start with the first one that is cpu priority in here i have left amd and intel cpu priority so if you have an amd cpu double click and run the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority the objective is to change the correct dword values for your pc to improve your cpu's core performance second one is bloom and rage priority and for this i would recommend you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here third one is ram optimization in which i have left 8 ton of presets according to your PC. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to use this registry. It could be different for you, so apply it according to your PC. And once again, if that doesn't give you an optimal performance, you guys can reset it back to default right over here. Fourth one is the power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. To run it, you have to right click and run it as administrator. Then head over to power plans and this will add up an additional power plan in this list called ultimate performance. If that is available for you, check it and this will disable 
all kind of power saving features on your hardware to improve their performance fifth one is a programs folder in which i have left three simple programs let's start with the first one that is clean temporary files right click and run this as administrator once it opens up you guys can press any key to continue and start deleting all temporary files off of your pc once that is deleted press any key and this will be closed i highly recommend you guys to keep cleaning your temporary files every now and then as a safe practice as it will help you for better performance of your windows next one is msi mode utility 3.0 and this software is used for your gpu run this as administrator and once it opens up you have to locate your graphic card in my scenario my graphic card is listed right over here simply select the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high and then click on apply then close it this will help you to enable your graphic card to handle higher amount of interrupts and the more interrupts it can handle the better the performance will be last one is the unpack cpu and right click and run this as administrator again and once it opens up it will be a very simple interface of this application right over here you guys can see enabled cores and park cores now the enabled cores should be the maximum number of cores available by your pc because windows by default has this tendency to disable the cores or park the cores which are no longer in use and to fix that you have to slide the score parking index all the way up to 100 percent to make sure that all of them are unparked and right after that you guys can see that all of the cores are now enabled this will help you to improve the core performance of your pc once all of that is done simply close your fps back next step is deanimating windows and for that simply set your adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once on the performance options select custom and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts rest all of these options should be disabled this will help you to disable all kind of unnecessary and unwanted animations on your pc which will fix some of the performance issues but quite not really help you to improve the fps so for that simply click on ok and now let's move to the next step that is disabling unwanted services on your pc and to do that simply search for ms config and then open up system configuration once you're here head over to the services tab and then select hide all microsoft services now you are left with all kind of application services and i would recommend you guys to disable as many as you can over here but only the ones which you're aware of some services that you can disable safely are adobe update services microsoft fan control services rgb services printer services browser update services and overlay services right over here once that is done click on ok make sure to know which service you are going to disable because some of them can be really really dependent for games to run some of these services are vgc or anti-cheat next step is disabling startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together on your keyboard and now you guys will be in the task manager head over to the fourth tab that is startup apps and right over here you guys will find all of the applications on your pc i would recommend you guys to disable as many applications as you can right over here and this will allow your pc to reduce the number of processes running in the background since the boot of your pc this will not only improve the performance but also significantly reduce the last bios time that is the time taken by your pc to boot up once all of this is done simply close this and now you guys can drop into the game with the best in game settings okay once you open up your game press your escape key and then head over to settings right over here go down to video settings and then make sure that your display mode is set to full screen head down and disable motion blur enable camera smoothing and disable camera shake disable all three effects right over here because they might help you to improve some fps then head down to graphic settings click on that before going ahead press f to save these settings press space bar and now what you guys have to do is click on the graphic settings right beneath that now for the maximum fps you're gonna have to set this into unlimited vsync should be turned off and upscaling should be set to nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia graphic card or amd fsr3 if you have an amd graphic card both of these work very fine for the quality mode you can go with quality balanced or performance but if you have a super low end pc you can go with ultra performance as well or dlaa i would prefer you guys to select performance right after that head down to sharpness and make sure to set this thing to somewhere between 20 percent because using the upscaling method the game will become a little bit blurry then go down and see if dlss frame generation is enabled for you if it is you wanna have to turn this thing on for nvidia reflex low latency go with enabled plus boost and for graphics quality right over here come down for rendering distance and go with medium post process go with medium effects quality go with medium as well texture quality high shadow quality 
quality should be set to low. Once again, to improve some of your performance, you can also go with the post processing quality low. And once that is done, press backspace on your keyboard and then backspace again and click on resume to get into your game. And now you guys can see a silky smooth FPS in your games. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash it subscribe button since it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I want you guys to hit that subscribe button below to ensure that I reach that goal. I believe in you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.